I'm a field applications engineer for LDRA, and today I'm going to be talking about the LDRA productivity package for static analysis, and more specifically, how we can leverage this productivity package as a solution for our cybersecurity needs. So why specifically are we concerned with cybersecurity when it comes to C and C++ projects? Well, it all comes down to a few very simple reasons. The first being that we have a growing target list when it comes to C and C++ being used in critical infrastructure and embedded systems. This means that there's lots of different targets for these potential cyber attacks. In C and C++, we also run the risk of having memory safety risks, and these are going to be things like buffer overflows, dangling pointers, memory leaks. These are things that make C and C++ more difficult to manage from a cybersecurity perspective. We also have dependency risks in C and C++. Often, third-party libraries are relied on, and they can contain unpatched vulnerabilities, which increases the need for cybersecurity assessments. There's also an increase in compliance requirements for cybersecurity regulation standards, and these demand secure coding practices, especially for languages like C and C++, that are prone to low-level vulnerabilities. There's also a big growth in the sophistication of the attacks being posed on these C and C++ projects. Modern attacks are going to leverage advanced techniques like return-oriented programming, which specifically targets C and C++ binaries. We also have a large role in critical systems when it comes to C and C++. C and C++ is widely used in industries like automotive, aerospace, and finance, where these vulnerabilities can and have had severe safety and financial implications. So how do we address issues like this? Well, the answer is very simple, actually. The issue doesn't necessarily lie with C or C++ as a coding language, but rather with the standard that we uphold ourselves to. This is why standards like MISRA, CWE, and CERT-C exist in the first place. They aim to mitigate all of these problems before they can become problems in your code to begin with. This is also why tools like LDRA exist, so that we can help you identify these issues so that you don't have to comb through your code manually and find them yourself. So let's take a look at how the LDRA productivity package for static analysis can help you find violations associated with MISRA, CWE, and CERT-C, and show you various different levels of cybersecurity issues within your code. The LDRA Productivity Package for Static Analysis gives you access to over 50 different coding standards that you can choose from, as well as the ability to create and customize your own coding standard based off of the built-in rules. From MISRA C to CWE to BAR C to CERT C, I'm sure you'll be able to find something that you like. After we've ran our static analysis on our chosen coding standard, we can open up a code review for that specific standard. Once we've done that, we can take a look at all of the different violations we have associated with that standard. If we find a violation that we'd like to exclude, whether that be because it's not relevant to us or because our standard doesn't require it, we can simply right-click on it and click Exclude That Violation. This will now go away and it'll show up later in our reviews. If I'd like to see where any of these violations are located in my code, I can simply double-click on them and they'll open up both in my Notepad++ that, I've had, that I have here, as well as in the source viewer down at the bottom. The next thing we might want to take a look at is going to be some reports. We've generated all this lovely looking information with our code review, but if I want to see it in a report format, say in HTML, I can simply double click on code review. This will open up my code review report in a HTML page, and we can see our overall results and the number of violations that we have associated with our coding standard. If I'd like to see something other than a code review, say for example a standard specific report on, for example, CWE, I can double click on that as well and take a look at my CWE report. Another great feature of the LDRA productivity package for static analysis is the ability to take a look at our security based reports. This will give you information on various different coding standards as it pertains to cybersecurity. The first thing that it will show us is a weakness overview report. This is going to organize our cybersecurity weaknesses 
by severity, whether they're high level, medium level, or low level, and organize them into heat maps for us to show us exactly where they're located in our files. The next thing that these will show us is the security audit. And this will show us specifically where our input and output sources for any taint issues that we may have, as well as any key areas that we have by complexity. This will organize all of our procedures in order from most to least complex. If we'd like to take a look at the security review, this will show us our specific CWE and cert weaknesses by category, as well as organizing them into our most common CWE weaknesses and most common cert weaknesses in our code. And then finally, if we'd like to see a taint analysis of our source code, we can take a look at the taint analysis report here. Thanks for watching my short video on the LDRA productivity package for static analysis. If you have any questions or if you need any more information, don't hesitate to reach out to us at info at LDRA.com. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more great videos like this one. Thanks again and have a nice day.